All right, hello guys. Uh, today in this video, we are going to talk about the directory structure of Laravel. You can see here there are many, many folders, files. So we're going to talk about almost every folder and maybe a file. So, but before we're doing that, let's see how we can run this in the browser. All we have to do, uh, we have changed, I have changed there permission of stories uh, for me, yeah I've already started let me stop this and let's run again PSP audition serve all we have to do right and uh, let's run in localhost yeah we can see the Laravel default page you know we can we can customize it uh, we'll talk about it later but now we want to see the directory structure okay so let's talk about at first uh, when we make when we make a fresh Laravel installation of a project. First, we go to env and oh, and we change here our database name. In my case, it's first Laravel username and password, and we and we have to restart the server. You know, oh, I forgot about Jam, and we have to start the jam in windows there is jam but in my case it's lamp and i have a shortcut to start the jam you know last for my password and it will run uh let's go to database first now i have here database you know first laravel we can go to local slash psv my admin database let's 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 have that page again now we want to talk about the basic folder so we have talked about ENB that's all about ENB uh, all we all new you know like uh, keys and many things we want to have here uh, if we want to send mail we have to we'll have like fake mail like mail trap SMTP you know port and you no know, maybe keys we want to paste it here okay and after that um there is env example that is nothing same as env if and that's that's you know when you make github and push the env has our secrets you know so we wanna we don't want to show to others so we can copy it from env example to env and in composition all we have is you know uh what is there json file it is not much Laravel framework versions and those things and uh, let's go let's go there is nothing much here um, now now there is one main, main folder resources in which there is views folder in which we have welcome day uh, this is the basic page which this this is displaying okay so we want to change it like uh, let's just remove all and let's say hello from code online let's save it and let's refresh yeah we are good okay so that's it uh, about view we can create a uh, many file here okay uh oh, and in routes there is a web.php where we are we want to have like routes like if we say slash slash mm, code online and we, we are returning welcome blade uh, which we saw here okay so if we do refresh it may say not found yeah if we do slash code online it will show that page because we have changed this uh, slash code online so if we do slash code online it will show the welcome page so that's it um, we'll talk more about it later you know like request like get posts uh, put delete now we'll talk when time is right so we are just discovering the folder and API in API we are gonna have like apis okay like if you use react or 
view or other for front end we want to make our api and have the routes here that's all about routes and resources there is a js folder which we'll have js with which we'll talk about later maybe maybe or maybe not uh in public there is index PSP, which runs our you know where is that um auto load and this um not much um we have database in which we can have we have migration in which we can make migration table uh, in default it gives users table so we have users table uh, we want to we may create login you know authentication we can also have our own migration from like PSP origin make migration command which we'll see later in backend portion and sheets and factories that's all about you know backend database you know and in in and the main is their app okay in app there is a folder called http which have controllers here we have all the controllers file okay we have to create controller file uh, in which we'll use model and you know from route we go to controller and from controller uh, using some data of database you know database we send the user redirect user to certain page with that data like posts okay so we we do that there okay like uh, creating validation of form um, etc and deleting so all the function all the backend logic is written in controller and there is a user the page this is model um we when we want to use users my user from you know database we use this and if you have products we have product model so we can use product.php for you know refreshing data maybe um that's it so that's maybe that's it all that's all about it uh you'll understand more about it when we go with the flow you know so we'll talk about it definitely so stick around stick with it and i'm gonna make you understand if you don't understand please comment uh i'll be there for you so hope you enjoy code online Mm, this is Laravel series for basic, you know, beginner. Uh, so I think this is this is time to go. Um, so thank you. Hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. Okay. So thank you.